had fun. Unfortunately, the carnival was raining down. Will you shut that thing off? Unfortunately, the carnival was rained out. We'll see the tape right now. Okay, here we are with Kim, who's gonna tell us what she's doing and stuff. So, what, what are you doing? Is it like stuff? Cover the balloon with shaving cream, and they have to put the dart in their mouth and dry face. Wow, that's not, that sounds like fun. Um, do you need do you need an electric razor or something? No, use a dart. Hi. Oh, that guy. Hi, I'm Nancy. Hi, this is John. We're reporting for Watch the News Channel Four. Right here we have Ben Davis. Ben, you look like you're all wet. Why? Well, I went on the apple dunk like five times and I got like five apples and I ate like all of them. Is the snowball good? Yeah. Aren't you the weatherman? I was. Why do you think they had it on the theater lawn this year? Um, I think one thing is that they're redoing the courts now and they, they don't want any, uh, any more cracks or problems at the courts, for instance. And uh, I guess it's a change of scenery. You know? We've been having. I like it. We've been having our carnival on the courts for the past four years. And, now they decided to have it on around the, yeah. the lawn here. Yeah, yeah. But I like it. Yeah. Um, any any special thing that you like here? Yeah, I like the fact that Nancy and Tom are going in a soak the dope thing. This is Jordan. Jordan went into the haunted house Hi, I'm Jordan. and mutilated, mutilated my my haunted house. He just tore it up. And I want to know why you did that, Jordan. Ah, you're on the spot now, Jordan. Why did you do that, Jordan? <laughs> Zombies get no respect. Well, John, basically it's just a blackjack table, and I'm the dealer, and usually it's three maximum people. Hello. And uh, if the players beat the dealer, then they win tickets. I think the amount is three tickets. But Al hasn't really hooked me up yet, but uh, when he does, they'll win tickets. Um, I think it's going to be bad in a way, though, because there's going to be it's gonna, like so many different activities and like not enough time. And also certain things are going to be like too crowded, like the... Uh, um, dunking machine, yeah, what? the haunted house, and the um, arrow shoot. Certain things are going to be really pop popular, so it's going to be long lines, and it's not fun waiting on long lines. Oh yeah. The crowd think this guy, Dan, is a pretty tall guy, but their players are around six feet almost. Oh, Dan. I start the game. Oh, Dan wins that one. Matt Whitman, Kajia, Jeff Goldman. Goldman of Whitman. Whitman, Kajia. Shot by Whitman. Oh, fades away. And so said takes it out. Gonna have to play the defense. Ooh, Dave comes up. Oh! oh I go! Oh! A big push from the left side of the field. What a beautiful shot! By Dave Pence. Hits, hits it all the way from the left field. He was way out. Hit again. Good. Yeah. Oh! Oh! oh they. It's a stolen ball. No, it's just a. Uh, it went back court. They brought it back court. They're not allowed. Okay, so. Takes it up. Jeff with the ball passes to Claude. Jordan. Jordan, whatever. Claude's in the corner. Jeff with the ball back. Oh. Back to Jordan. Jordan. Layup. Oh, oh, misses the net. Oh. Oh, and it's an out of bounds. Balsama set, hold, held it, and then I think Jordan hit it out of bounds. It's a nice short serve. Tony, oh, 
Julian, nice over him. Back over to Waziata. Tony going up. Flanders. Oh, yes. A spike by Dan Flanders. First of the game by Waziata. It's Wazzyata. a 13 12 game for Waziata. Jeff Goldman. Joe's younger brother playing. Oh, 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 tips it out. But actually, I think Why Joe is a bit, of a bit of a better player than Dan. That was a joke, folks. Jordan to Matt Whitman. Whitman was the MVP of Not last to mention yesterday. the different heights. Jeff Goldman shoots. Different. Oh! And what a shot. That was Goldman. Batting number three. Joe Friedley, our pitcher, who's one of the best hitters, considerably. Best hitting pitcher with five home runs last year. Batted a 267. Oh, pitch is way outside. Catcher couldn't get his hand on it. Here's the pitch. Oh, hard crack. Oh, oh, hard crack. Oh, he picks it up. That's the third out of the inning. They get it without a hit. First year here, so I don't know anybody, and I didn't know if I was going to make a lot of friends. And it turned out that I did. I met a lot of great kids and a lot of great counselors, and I I wish the best to all of them. I really met one special person who's always been generous through it all, and um, I'm not going to mention her name so other people don't get hurt. But I'd like to thank that person, and I really think this camp is great. Uh, my past four weeks at Wazi have been incredible. I've made a lot of new friends and become better acquainted with my old friends and the staff have been great. Um, I've just had the best time. Uh, the past weeks at Wazi Out of Here have been a real experience because I've met people from other countries and around the state and I never would have met them before and I've made friends with a lot of them. And that's something really special to me because I, uh, 
don't usually get to meet people like that. Um, everybody here means a lot to me. Um, I'm going to miss everybody a lot. You'll, I love you all. You'll know that because I'll be bawling tonight and tomorrow. And you all better write to me or I'll kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Hey, it's been incredible first session. I'd just Talk like to say that I've had a lot of fun. This is my last year that I'm going to be able to be at Wazi and I've really had a lot of fun and the ledge has been great and I'm going to miss everybody but hopefully I can come back as a counselor so look out. Um, even though it's my first year here at Waziata, the last four weeks to me have meant a lot of friendships and memories and I really wish I could come back but since I was in the ledge this year I can't but hopefully I can come back as a counselor. I'd like to thank Alan and Paul, counselors of Grow 5, for helping us have fun this summer. It, it was, was great. great. <laughs> um, Waziata has meant a lot to me these past three years. And this summer, playing Uncle Smell Q and Margaret in all the different plays, um, it's been really fun. And I love seeing all you people again. Hi, Hi. where are you from? <laughs> and this, this summer was, was great. I had a really good holidays in Waziata's summer. I want to thank Martin Mattison, the counselor of the week, for the very nice time that I spent in woodworking. Paul Lambert, for the great time that I spent with him, and especially Zog, Alan Hockady, who was so funny during the smashing holidays. Thank Martin, thank Paul, thank Zog for those, holi for those terrific holidays. Okay, uh, I just wanted to say that it was uh, my grace, my best uh, camp and my best summer and I think I, I had a really good time and I enjoyed a lot uh, the activities. It was very fun and I wanted to say thank you to Tom and Nancy. Alright, hi I'm Jeff <laughs> and um, thanks and um, thank you. Well, I think I'm, I'm upset right now because um, this is like my last year, you know, and I've been here four years, no, three years, I guess, you know, and, um, and Wazi's a special place to me, and seriously, and I think that, like, um, like I'm going to miss all the kids when I, when I, I mean, all the, <laughs> the kids, all my friends when I leave and stuff, you know, and um, I'm just going to be upset because this is like, this is like the best place to be in the summer, you know. I think that i just like to say bye to all my friends. They're all such wonderful people, and... I think it's it's incredible the way how many the way so many great people can all come to, together in one place. It seems like there's nowhere in the world where so many people are so incredible and they're all there together. And it's just so many memories, so many fun times and fun things to look back on and to remind ourselves of over the year. That I just want to um, thank everyone for making this an incredible summer. I wish it could go on forever. Unfortunately, we have to move on. I just want to say I love you, each and every one of you. Um, <laughs> well, I just want to thank Wazi for a lot of fun memories and friendships. And I'll miss you a lot, and all the people. And yeah. <laughs> this is my first summer here, but I really don't want to leave. And this is, I've had the best summer of my life. And I'm in this all my friends so much, but I made friendships that I know I'll never ever forget. <laughs> now that we're here, when they first came, we were all really psyched to see each other, all, all our old friends and everything, but even, even the new people that we met, we became really, really close with, and mm -hmm. we became closer with our old friends. And we made some of incredible friendships that they'll never yeah. lose. We're always we'll, we'll always friends. have it. Yeah, and no, we're never going to lose these friendships, because when you're with somebody every day for four weeks, you get to know them so well, and you really get to love each other in a special kind of way. And you also learn new, you learn new things that you wouldn't normally learn. And also, in these, in these four weeks that at camp, you become closer with your camp friends and than you do sometimes with friends at school that you've spent the whole year with.
problem is, and I work for Los Banditos, the same company that brought you the fake ID card, the fake green card, the fake passport. Well, we have a brand new item, amigos. The fake swimmer's card. Yes, for those wadi as a campers that don't want to go swimming in the cold water. Simply put your name here, and you don't have to take swimming anymore with those lazy instructors that don't want to go in the cold water with those crazy little creatures that live on the bottom of the lake. Yes, the Waziata, fake Waziata Red Cross swimmer's card. New from Los Panditos, just come on down, buy one, real cheap. So buy the Waziata swimmer's card. Don't leave home without it. Howdy, I'm Ned with my golden guitar, and this here is my brother Jed. And we're here to give you a live demonstration of some of the songs from our new album, Ned and Jed's Greatest Hits, that has already sold over 20 million copies. It's our seventh gold record. First one is Take Me Home. We also have There's a Barn in the Middle of the Lake. There's a barn in the middle of the lake. There's a barn in the middle of the lake. There's a barn in this barn, this barn, there's a barn, there's a barn in the middle of the lake. And who could forget that classic love song, Old MacDonald? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-O. And on this farm he had some pigs, E-I-E-O. Hey! And that great song from the Lone Star State, The Stars Are Bright. The stars are bright, it's late at night. That's the heart of Texas. And then there's that old time campfire classic, On Top of Spaghetti. On Top of Spaghetti. On Top And then everybody's favorite, General Store Blues. I got the general store blues. I got the general store blues. All right, we have a good show for you tonight. Uh, worked a lot of hours putting it together, and now we have a couple of our own camper MCs who are going to deliver that show to you. Thank you very, very much. Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm Ben. And we're here to introduce you to the 1990 second session.
than last year, and they're, they're they help a lot, and they're good companions. And well, my favorite activity is probably copper, but I like about everything here at Wazuyata. I like it a lot. I'm going to miss camp a lot, and I wish and I hope that I'll be back next year. I just want to say that these past eight weeks have really meant a lot to me. I've made friends that I know are going to last forever. And I really had a great time here. And even though I'm in the ledge, you know, I think I'm going to come back as a counselor because Wazi just has this kind of warmth that I don't think any other camp has. Um, I've made friends. I never thought I'd make friends before. I've had some incredible friendships that will last forever. You know, I've made friends with Pines, you know, really close friendships with Pines. Made friendships that I'll never forget. I've had a summer in my life, and I'll never forget it. I love camp. This camp's great. I have, I love it. I made really good friends, and it's just a great camp, and it's really, really special, and these past three years are awesome. We're awesome, totally. I just want to say I think Wazi is one of the greatest places on earth, because if I hadn't come here, I wouldn't have met my best friend, Danny. I think Waz is really cool, and I think that all the staff deserves a big, what do you call it? Round of applause. Yeah, yeah. This place is really cool. And I met Jen, my best friend. Uh, hi, um, this, this has been a pretty cool year at Wazi doing, like, Wazi TV with John here, who's right now staring at me with a whistle in his mouth for some stupid reason. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is my sister. And she has something to tell you. Hi, thanks, Wazi. You've been wonderful. That's all I have to say. This was my second year at Waziata, and I had a really great time. I think it's a great camp, and I'm sure I'll be back next year. This has been an interesting summer. I've learned a lot of new things. I've made a lot of new friends. I had a chance to direct a play, which wasn't as successful as I'd like. Um, it's been a really good summer, one of the best so far. And I'd just like to say thanks to everyone. Thank you. It was terrific. I know. <laughs> The ACC and big tennis tournament here and stuff. And it was loads of fun. And hopefully I'll come back next year and I can't wait. But if I don't, I don't. And I'll miss everybody. So I'll see ya.
victims. Between life and death. Competition on my beach. came to terms with that in a turmoil a woman with trouble can't be dead thank you but did you know